Right, first of all, let's go to File and open a, an image. There we go. Right, we're going to uh, make this uh, Ford Escort transparent. There's a nice transparent image. Take the background away. So if we just zoom in on it and uh, choose the polygonal lasso tool, it gives you a bit more accuracy in marking out your image. Cut around the image on the outside. This will take a little while and uh, I'll go as quick as I can. You can probably do it a little bit more accurately than me. Uh, you'll have more time. I'm just uh, going quickly around the around the car for for speed for the video. I think the hardest part about doing any of uh, the cars is uh, the wheels. So um, go around the just keep following around the outside of the vehicle and then when you come down to the wheels you'll have to uh, take your time as best you can because uh, they're quite difficult to see especially with shadows and uh, such like we'll work our way slowly around this uh, Classic Mark One Escort. As you can see, there's a big shadow under the car here, so it's very difficult to see the the tyres. But uh, work your way around as best you can. If you make a mistake like I just did there, we can always go back and uh, sort that out. At, uh, at a later time. I didn't really choose the easiest of images here with all these shadows, but there, there you go. We'll do what we can. There's probably other ways to select the uh, outside of the vehicle, um, and I'm sure there's uh, people out there who are more clued up on it than I am, but uh, I tend to find that the polygonal lasso tool is quite uh, quite accurate if if obviously I'm rushing this a little bit but if you take your time um, you can you can get quite an accurate outline to the uh, whatever subject you're working on the background on this image is quite messy with lots of um, different colors so it's uh, not that you can sort of easily take just one color away. It's uh, at least this way we're, we're getting the image that we want to work on. That's it. So we've selected the outside of the vehicle. Now we've selected it. If we cut, edit and cut, and then go to File and New, it'll select a new image and it'll be size to the size that we've uh, cut it to so then edit and paste and uh, there's our car so far and as you can see we've now got uh, the background still remaining in the uh, windows inside so I'll just show you where uh, we just basically do the same thing again with the polygonal lasso tool go around the windows and cut that out to give us the transparency
depending what you want to use the image for you can always um, put a a blank image and um, set it to to the back and make it and and reduce the transparency to make for example the windows look tinted or you know you could use a a, a black color cut it to the roughly the shape of the window and then create another layer and um, send it to the back and then reduce the transparency and so so that it makes it opaque so you can see through it and you could actually create colored windows if you wanted to but for this purpose we'll just cut the windows out nearly there as I say I'm doing this fairly quickly just uh, just to show how fairly straightforward it is it's a little bit time consuming but it's it's fairly straightforward Zoom it back out and see what uh, there we go on transparent Mark One Escort. I'll just uh, put a background layer on. So if we fill with a layer, a coloured layer. And then send that to the back. You can see that the uh, color shows through the windows nicely. But if we zoom in, then um, we can see if we've missed any any little bits to tidy up. So if we select the layer that you're working on, and then just tidy up any little bits of white that you might have missed, or see a little bit of white around there around the windows that just stand out a little bit so if it was on a colored background a dark background they would stand out so if we just remove those and perhaps uh, just a little bit there Just use the eraser tool to get the right size. Don't want anything too big. We'll see if we can tidy these wheels up just a little bit. It's easier to see them with uh, the background gone. Perhaps just tidy them up, make them a bit more round, and get rid of the jagged edges. I messed that one up completely there. We should uh, perhaps just draw a line and fill that in with the colour of the tyre but we'll, we'll just tidy it up for now. You can spend more time on this. Um, I'm just uh, doing this for demonstration purposes really. It's a little bit better. Not perfect, but it's a little bit better. A little bit of white there that I missed. We'll get rid of that. That's it. Go back to the actual size. We'll delete the back layer. And there you go, one Mark One Escort, transparent image.
I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope you've learned something from it.